Oof. Your little Titanic moment it was nice. <laughs> they do feel like tiny little fingers. That was slightly terrifying. <laughs> this video is brought to you by the Moza Healing Kit. Stay tuned for a special message from Moza after this video. For the most part, I have some lower back pain, but it's my neck. My neck has been the root of a lot of tension and definitely a lot of headaches. Um, and then recently, I don't know how I even did it, but I tore into my rotator cuff, so that's been really a lot of fun. So that's all jumbled. When I was 18, I got in a really bad car accident. I got hit at almost 80 miles an hour, and it actually pushed me through the side window. And in that process, I tore everything in the right side of my neck, um, which when it came back, I had, you know, the, the layers in between the muscles kind of came back, kind of like dry rubber bands. They didn't regenerate properly, so it started pulling on C4 or C5 a lot. Uh, it just so happens that C4 and C5, the opening in those vertebrae are smaller than the others. So if I get any inflammation, there was actually one point where I turned into like a, tyr a Tyrannosaurus, which was kind of awful. So it cut, it cut off some nerve supply and I ended up with like this weird, this weird arm. So thankfully it's nowhere near what it was then, but I can still feel that things will get tight and it'll turn and it'll pull things out of alignment. It seems like it kind of comes and goes in waves. I feel like if I'm really pushing myself, I'm doing things that I shouldn't be doing, forget it, I'm out of luck. At least once a month I end up in a spot if I sleep weird or, you know, I just kind of turn too quickly one way or another, then it's like, it's really pulling tight and I'll struggle with it for a good three or four days. Headaches, I've been better with. I was getting them very frequently. Um, I would say once or twice a month. When I get them and they're extreme, it'll put me out for a day. So it'll start in the back <clears throat> um, and it kind of radiates forward. Okay. And then it's just the whole thing. And if I don't kind of try to get it to calm down at that point, then I'm on the cusp of like full on migraine. And my lower back, I do have two bulging discs that have gotten better over the years. Um, but there are times that, and I was a dancer too, so my flexibility is, is a lot different. Ballet mainly, mm -hmm. ballet, tap, jazz. And as a kid, I did a lot of like floor acrobatics. So there was a lot of like, but I'll notice that when I lay down, sometimes I can tell when my hips out because my one leg will be shorter than the other. So that's not as bad as that was either, but <laughs> I have my moments with that too that aren't very fun. So I've been in, quite a few car accidents and not, I'm like a magnet for disaster. Mm -hmm. um, none of them were my fault, which thankfully, but wild. So I went through that window. I also got hit by a tractor trailer, spun out, like that was terrible. Rear ended multiple times. I mean, anything you could think of. I don't know what it is. I don't know why people like to run me over. You get run over, it's fine. But every time that I start to feel a little bit better, <laughs> like I just get run over again. So thankfully, I haven't been run over in a few years. It's good. Do an exam on your spine and then I'll get you adjusted, okay? You've been a, you've been to a chiropractor before? All right, when's the last time you got adjusted? It's been a while. It's been like, oof, two years maybe. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm ready for it. I All need right. it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and walk towards me. Looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Look pretty symmetrical. There's a little bit of genuverum on the left. It's hard for me to walk flat-footed for the dance. I always oh, I can't okay. help it. Oh, okay. Yeah, ballerina toes. <laughs> Definitely some genuverum on the left. We're seeing a little bit of an asymmetry from the and so the knees are almost touching there. No supination or pronation, inversion or eversion. I don't see any rotations of the hip at the level of the feet. And then looking at the knee, there's might just be a little bit more internal rotation on the right and that right hip. Definitely a high right shoulder and a high left hip, high right ear. And then let your feet down. Yeah, just leave them there. All right, a little bit of a decreased arch on the right side versus the left. So there is an asymmetry down there. No bunions. Okay, I'm going to do a nice gentle scan on the top of your spine, okay? Okay. A 
turned to right there. Mm -hmm. See this turn to the right. Nice crack. Turn to the left. Which side felt more restricted? The left. Going this way? Um, no, going this way. Going that way. Yeah. Yeah. Left or right, which is more tender? Right. Left or right, which is more tender? Right. Yeah, your neck is on fire. It was very warm right here. It's all in this cervical thoracic transition. It's been really bad lately too. I'm getting a lot of the pins and needles kind of thing in my left arm. And that shoulder blade. It's definitely really sensitive to touch too. And as soon as you press on it, it's like You're feeling pins it right and needles. Now? Mm -hmm. I have the static TV arm. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. It's static TV. Right? <laughs> All right, let me check your musculature in the pelvis here. Right, left, is one of these more tender? The right side's more tender. Oh, here, left, right? Right. Oh, here, left or right? Right. Bring your chin down to your chest. There's okay. so much tension in that. And I can feel it pull through the left side shoulder blade a lot. When you go like this, you feel mm -hmm. it down here? It's tight, yep. relax here you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings like this tracing up to the glute fold it's lower on the right that means your, your uh, pelvis is torqued like that feet are together looking from the top for internal and external rotations good nothing there maybe slightly EX on the right forward and touch your toes good back up again bend forward touch your toes back up Right or left? Right. Right SI joint is tender. But the left one's the one that's not moving. And nice and tall, lay your arms down, and then go ahead and close your eyes. Definitely some lateral, definitely some lateral. All right, so that confirms the hypermobility. Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize I was moving that much.
Pressure's okay? Mm-hmm. Nice gentle breathing, okay? Mm-hmm. Nice central breathing.
right, see, so now we had the third trap fiber. One, two, three. Still tender there, right? Mm -hmm. This is four, five, and one. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with this one here. You've been adjusted before. Let's practice one so I can feel your spine while you're breathing. So you're going to take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to follow your breath down like this at the end of your breath, right there. There's a couple of things here. Let's start here in the middle. Another breath in and out. Good shoulders relaxing here. Oof. <laughs> That's pretty good. Same thing, another breath in. And following it down. Good. Okay, ready? Right, left, right, left. Which one is more tender? Or same? They're pretty much the same right now. That's definitely more tender on the left. Yeah. Good, nice and gentle. Let the head relax here. Let the shoulders relax right here. Good. Let this go. A little push right there. That was slightly terrifying. <laughs> okay, let the shoulders relax and kind of sink in here. Go and take a deep breath in. Go all the way in. <laughs> well, that's the fastest way to breathe out, I guess. <laughs> you took my breath away. Go ahead and uh, lift your right leg up in the air down okay left down okay ready one two Which side's more tender uh they were about equal i think the right side's a little more tender did you want to sleep no it's okay right now all right one more time right side down left Right, down, left, good, down, sacral, coccyx segment, second, third, tender right there? Yes. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. We're going to hold this ligament for just a moment until it releases. All right, we're going to recheck that ligament again. How's that feel? Better. All right, how's this feel up here? Is this better, same, worse? It does feel better. And I'm not as pinched. It doesn't feel as static. Right, I'm going to adjust your lumbar spine, okay? okay. We're going to bring this guy up like this. Scoot your forward here a little bit. Okay. Have that relax and pull your shoulder out just like this a little bit. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. I'm going to stretch your shoulders in this direction. We're going to bring your hips down. We give a little push like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it out. Deep breath in. And out. Go out the shoulders. Relax here. Good. Okay, let me back. <laughs> How's that? It's good. It's good. Crunch. Nice straight. Good. We're going to bend the top leg here. Let's get you forward just a little bit like this. Good shoulders are good right there. We're going to bring this to here. This one bends up right there. Okay, nice and gentle. Let this hip relax a little bit. Let this shoulder come down just a tiny little bit. All right, you're breathing. As you breathe out, your shoulders go this way. We're gonna give it a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good, sinking in. Good, let the shoulders go. Good. Oh, hold on, it's right there. One more time, let the hip go a little bit more. Oh, right in your back. <laughs> nice. Okay, turn your head to the right. Center. Turn your head to the left. Center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear. Center.
I'm gonna bring your neck over to the side like this here, and then we're gonna follow it in that direction. A little pull, like push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, deep breath in and out. Let's get right on top of this atlas. Get all of it. Okay, same segment. We're gonna bring this over here like this. Head and shoulders relaxing. We're gonna bring this over a little pull in this direction. Okay, it's right there. Left side. Oh, sorry. My left side does feel a lot better. Nice and gentle, let this relax here. Your knees, try and squeeze as hard as you can. <laughs> Get a deep belly breath into your belly. Okay, we're just gonna work around the diaphragm here like this. Okay, deep belly breath into your belly. Ooh. Look that into your belly. Again. Good, deep belly breath. Mm. <laughs> belly, into your belly. Again, push my hand out. There you go. Into your belly. Into your belly. Into your belly. Into your belly. Deep belly breath. Come on, really push it into your belly. I'm trying. <laughs> it's nice and tight. All right, so your hips are held in place by those pins, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck like this. And as you breathe out, we're gonna follow it in this direction like that, okay? This one's slightly more aggressive than the other adjustments. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, all you have to do is keep your teeth together. Let everything sink in, relax. Go and take a deep breath in. And then out. Good, and following the breath there. Oof. <laughs> Slightly is definitely the word. <laughs> Breathe. I'm trying. <laughs> that is that is an aggressive adjustment. No, it feels good afterwards though when everything like settles back. It's a big deal. Yeah, I don't think I ever had an adjustment like that. I feel taller. <laughs> I feel oddly more centered. I it's feel better. more grounded mm -hmm. as opposed to... <laughs> My fingers don't like to crackle. It's All right, left side here, push right here, push. Push, push. Or you can, push. There you go. All right, let's see. Let's bring your chin down to your chest. I'm gonna hold on to your elbow like this. I'm reaching around the front. Okay, we're gonna bring this up like this. Hold on. Let the shoulders relax here a little bit more. Same thing. 
Left, right, or equal. Right. Left, right, or equal. They're about equal. All right, okay, um, hold your arms out like an airplane. All right, I'm gonna place my fingers on the ribs right here where we're gonna adjust, okay? Let this arm relax. Let that arm relax. There you go. Left side toes. Left hand's gonna come on top of the side of the right hand. We're gonna contact the ribs like this. Good. Okay, now let your head, now lay your arms down. Good, now let your head come back. Good, just kind of like let it all the way back. Let it all the way back. More, let it go. Good. Okay, relax, hold on. A little Titanic moment, that was nice. Right, left, same. Pretty similar now. Right, left, same. Same. Left, right, it's one more tendon than the other. Pretty same. Okay, this is one of the coolest neck massaging devices on the market. I think it'll work out really well for where your muscles are sore and you have, you have like these tight muscles in the front of your neck and there's heating pads is right there. So let's do this. Go ahead and lay on your back because that's how it works the best. They do feel like tiny little fingers. <laughs> it's really nice actually. They feel like, if, it feels like more like an actual hand motion than I anything else. And it's warm and soothing. I'm gonna take this with me, actually. It's hitting right on the spots that I needed, for sure. Oh. I like that it talks to you. It's friendly. <laughs> what is this little space laser mode? This is cool. It's actually breathing guidance. Oh. So like, when it's like, that's inhale. And then it's exhale. Wow. It tells you when to breathe? This is so neat. Four seconds in and then four seconds out. So it's guiding meditation. That's pretty cool. All right, I've got the robo hands here. I can't wait to try this. I just want to show these things too. These are some of the interchangeable knobs. Got these little finger knobbies ones, looks like a little, little cellular flagella. And then they've got these more round, twisty knobs. These are probably a little bit more comfortable. This looks like it'll get a little bit deeper. And these massage heads are amazing because they work with the essential oil. So this is the only massage device on the market that I know of that is specifically designed to work with uh, an essential oil on your skin. You know, just to try it out, I'm gonna put the rounded, more, comf more comfy looking ones on the one side. And then I'm gonna put the little flagella guys on the other side. Super easy to attach these massage heads. They just snap right in, they're magnetic. All right, so this is the focus mode. What? Oh my God, it's heating already. I can definitely feel the difference between the little finger guys on the right and then the knobbies on the left. 
oh my god this thing my neck just cracked i didn't even have any neck tension before but my neck feels amazing right now and it's only been 15 seconds my neck just cracked again this is the the heat it's heating all around for sure it's not just these compresses in the front but yeah this is designed right here we've got the submandibular lymph chain right here the anterior uh the anterior cervical lymph chain is right here the suboccipital lymph chain it's hitting it's definitely hitting the suboccipital lymph chain as well oh my goodness this thing i don't even have to hold it okay i can see what the manual does say like if you want it to go harder then you just lay back on it it's pressure sensitive okay very cool it's definitely deep i mean it's hitting a spot right here on my neck that I didn't even know was tender. Let me, let's, let's see what the other modes do. Oh, there's the vibration. Okay, now the relax mode is designed as part of the breath meditation guide. So you're supposed to breathe in as it vibrates and then breathe out after the vibration. So let's try that out and see how that goes. So it's a basic four in, four out. So square breathing, one of the first meditations I've ever learned, classic meditation, breath awareness, four in, four out. It's heating and massaging while guiding my breath, which is outstanding. This is amazing. When it is vibrating and heating and massaging at the same time, this is pretty good. Let's see what the next one says. All right, so this is the sleep mode. So now we've got just heat and just the vibration breath meditation okay i get it so the the breath meditation the way that it it syncopates itself is guiding you towards like the beginning of your breath and it's saying with those slower vibrations like the breath is ending and then you breathe out during the no vibration breathe in breathe out Yeah, so four in, four out. This is cool. I'm going to put on the Mosin mask now. I feel like Scott Summers. Sleep. Okay, so the mask has a sleep mode. There's red light on both sides. The vibration's on the outside. The red light is fading and then coming back in. The red light like fades and then comes up very slowly. And then the lights and the vibration are working in tandem with each other. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else. Okay, now there's a blue light on the right and a red light on the left. The vibration's a little bit more intense and the vibration is more focused in the middle. And this is also has the breathing pattern with it too because there's the same, there's the same vibration rate and the same breath pattern and the lights are increasing with the vibration green and the red height peak max light and then it just fades out when there's no vibration pretty cool it's going one side now green and blue these colors are um are very soft colors very soft reds greens and blues these patterns are just are specifically designed to stimulate the brain this is fascinating Let's see what else okay so relax whoa okay these vibrations are super intense they're going quickly around in a circular motion oh my god this it tickles my face just a little bit but it's really cool this is cool i don't want to change it whoa that was intense dude i like this mode this is really nice and then the next one was warm and so these functions are functioning with this which is cool i'm gonna lay down with this there's some patchouli in there for sure. Okay, a little rollerball action. How did you know, Moza, that it's my favorite? Let's get the earplugs going too. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my God, my face just cracked. My face just cracked my nose some cranial bone my sinuses are moving wow this is a full immersion experience with smell sound is blocked so it's quieter the heat sensation the massage sensation this is just wow let's go to that one 
Here's the focus. Okay, now. This is the wild one. There's no lights, crazy vibration all around my face. I'm done, dude. I am not going to be able to get up. I'm not even going to get up to turn the video off. I'm just going to wait till this is over. Uh, what? <laughs> that was one of the coolest neck massages ever. I fell asleep and now I can still feel it. It's been like almost five minutes, maybe even more than that. And, uh, and obviously I can still smell the oils and my neck feels super relaxed and I'm, I'm super relaxed. Robo hands and the sleepless mask. Oh, wow. I'm here with the Moza healing kit and the at-home massage device market is out of control right now. I just got this cool little device and it's unlike anything I've ever seen. It's the Moza healing kit. It includes the AI Robo hands neck massager, the sleepless eye mask, the classic aroma incense burner and incense sticks, an essential oil specifically designed for this product, which makes it truly unique, and earplugs to help you focus, relax, or sink into the stillness of the night. The Robo Hands Neck Massage is the only massage unit designed to work with essential oils. There are eight myofascial massage heads, a magnetic clip for easy transfer, and you can choose which massage head works best for you. One advantage this product has over a massage gun is that this is automatic. It's done for you, so you don't need anyone and you don't need to do it yourself. You just put it on and it works. The massage heads have a specifically positioned 45 degree head. So it's aligned not only with the musculature of the neck, but also the lymphatic tissue, which may help your immune system. It's designed for deep tissue and helping unwind the knots and release the tension. The vibration massage helps stimulate circulation and lymphatic movement. The hot compress has three different temperature variations. And my personal favorite, the breath meditation guide. This enhances relaxation and relieves stress by guiding your inhales and your exhales into a circular breathing rhythm. The Moza Robo Hands is quiet, compact, lightweight, and portable. It comes with an awesome case and a travel bag. And there's a one-year, worry-free service guarantee. Guys, I love this whole kit. The sleep mask is amazing. It vibrates your face. The incense sticks are quite lovely as well, and I'm very excited about this new incense holder. And the essential oil is perfect for stress relief. Guys, this is a cool little product. It's really unique to what's out there on the market. Moza has some good deals going on right now. Check out the links in the description. They're a cool company. Use my code for the discount. The link is there in the description and the pinned comment. Moza Healing Kit. Go check out their product. If you can't really get to your neck muscles with a massage gun and you want something that's done for you, feels great, and helps you relax and relieve your stress, this product is for you. Go check out Moza. Thanks for watching.